Another good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining the ISPS World Digital Virtual Media Center with Georgia Hall. Georgia, thanks for stopping by today. Well, Georgia, 144 men, 144 women here this week. Um, a different, a different event than maybe we're used to, but uh, the first of its kind in the Northern Hemisphere. Uh, Try saying event between the LPGA LA European Tour. Um, I'm sure you get this question a lot, but what, is, what does it mean to, uh, with the men, same prize money, same courses? Yeah, um, obviously very different event, which is always nice to change up a bit as well. And we're playing on the same courses as the men. Um, you know, even though we're not kind of competing with them, I think it would still be, you know, a great event. And I look forward to teeing up tomorrow. Competed in the Avian Championship last week. You've had a busy LPGA season. Uh, coming off in a major, though, how uh, how tired are you from uh, competing in a major championship mentally and physically? And how do you build uh, build the uh, energy back up to get right back out there? Yeah, um, well, I went home for a day, so that was really nice. Um, didn't you know? Didn't do anything, and then. Yesterday, I was meant to play the other course, but it got called off through fun, fun, thunder. So I only played two holes. Um, so I actually haven't done much. So energy's fine. Um, hopefully, I can play some holes today and, and see some of at least one course. The good and the bad of the weather, right? You can get some rest, but you might not be able to see the course. Is there something to say about just kind of going in uh, somewhat blind to a tournament or do you like to be as prepared as well? Um, I mean, there's nothing I could really have done yesterday. So I'm not, you know, um, stressed about it at all. Um, sometimes it's kind of fun to go in a bit blind, obviously, um, you know, just try and play as well as I can. And I don't think it's, you know, it's a fairly straightforward course where you can see what's in front of you. So um, yeah, hopefully it's fine. But I mean, obviously I'm playing the main course Galgorm today, and uh, hopefully the rain stays away so I can see that. Let's keep our fingers crossed. There's another event, obviously, like this the uh, in Australia, the Vic Open. Uh, you won that tournament in 2016. If you can just kind of take us through that experience, what you remember, um, maybe what that experience could help you build on for this. Yeah, obviously, we're playing um, two courses, like the Vic Open as well, and I really enjoyed that type of format uh, obviously great memories from from you know that a very similar format um a few years ago now or quite a few years ago so um yeah hopefully i can take that into this week and uh, have a good result is there something of, about having you know a men's group ahead of you behind you um you know just different faces that you don't you don't normally see is there something about that that's maybe a little more calming a little uh makes makes things less stressful than maybe a normal event um i mean I, not really i'm kind of focused on you know my goal but yeah it's obviously very different seeing men you know in front of you and behind you so um yeah i just focus on you know the event i'm playing in and do the best i can and then from a perspective of, you know, playing for the same same prize money and what Modest Golf has done as a presenting sponsor, uh, um, and Niall, obviously, with his influence in the golf world to help showcase the women's game, your perspective on um, just everything that they've been able to do to. Yeah, obviously, it's fantastic. Uh, we have equal, equal prize funds, um, not something that we get a lot of or something that we're used to. So. Uh, it's fantastic what you know Modest has done for this event, and um, unfortunately I missed it a couple of years ago. So I'm very keen to, to play in it this year, and I think it'd be a great success. And then obviously with the Olympics next week, you decided not to play. Um, what was just take us through your kind of scheduling perspective of uh, how you came about to play here instead of next week, uh, and and that kind of thing. Yeah, obviously, as it got closer towards the Olympics, I saw how much it was squeezing to the schedule of events, especially here in Europe. And um, it was just, you know, me, uh, my priority was to um, prioritise Scottish and British um, in front of that. And 
you know, every player had to make a decision and they had to probably miss one event. Some players missed Evian last week, but that was, I didn't want to miss that event. So, um, yeah, that's just really the reason. Uh, COVID travel also very hard. Um, this kind of trip in Europe is my favourite of the year, so I really wanted to be there for that. Priority to be around home, for sure. Um, Georgia, what have you ever been to Northern Ireland? Or um, if you have not, what have you heard about the Galgorm and Mazarin courses to kind of help you prepare mentally um, for the week? Yeah, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I've been... Yeah, I've been to Northern Ireland a few times, I think. I get a bit mixed up with the both. But, um, yeah, I've, I've heard that it's, you know, like fairly straightforward. It's really pretty, especially this course. Um, you know, great, great, like, views. Um, so, yeah, I just think I, I can't really comment too much. I haven't seen it myself. But a lot of players have really enjoyed their experience here. So, um, yeah, I'm sure I will too and uh, get to see the course this afternoon. Sorry, you're on mute there, Neil. I am on mute. Matthew, yep, you're up. Hi, George. It's Matt from BBC Sport NI. How are you doing? Hello, I'm good, thank you. How are you? Not too bad, thanks. Um, Georgia, you're obviously coming off a really strong finish in the Avion uh, on Sunday there. It was tied sixth, and your best finish in the major than in the Open in 2018. So, obviously... I know golfers always like to use the word trending when they're talking about their game, but do you feel as though your game's definitely trending in the right direction heading into these events that you said you want to focus on, like the Scottish and obviously the Open again at uh, Carnoustie? Yeah, um, yeah, I've had some really good results uh, maybe in the past couple of months. Um, you know, I had a good major championship at KPMG and the week before finishing sixth in America too. So, um, yeah, I feel, yeah, I feel pretty good at the moment. Um, obviously had good results and uh, at a good point, I think, in the year to, you know, try and continue that for the next few events. And obviously just coming out, like you had such a, a strong finishing round in France as well. Uh, obviously a lot of good thoughts and a lot of good vibes heading into this week. That's always good as opposed to, you know, maybe finishing a major and with a, with a 75 or something like that. Yeah, um, I mean... On the weekend, I was 12 under total, so uh, I had a good weekend all together and managed to, you know, hold some good parts. Um, I really enjoy it at Evian. I, I always feel very happy there. I'm very happy in Europe in general. So, um, yeah, I kind of, in Evian in previous years, I've had a couple of top 10, so I was quite confident going into it. Um, so, yeah, hopefully I can uh, continue that here in Ireland, Northern Ireland. Thank you. Good luck this week. Thank you. Thank you, Matthew. We'll go over to Paul. Paul, if you can unmute. Hi, Georgia. How are you doing? Hello. Good, thank you. Georgia, just a quick one on, on the tournament itself. I know the sponsors like ISPS Hand and with the work that Niall and Modest and all are doing, it's all about inclusivity and everything for the week. And you see what is happening with Brendan's event. Yeah. Um, and obviously, Yemi is over this week as well and stuff. Could you just get your thoughts on that side of things? Um, on sorry, what's the question? On the the you know for the tournament week, everything else that's happening, the opportunity that uh, an event like this provides, not just for yourselves as players, you know, in the male and female, but uh, Brenton's disability event, um, you know, which is a key focus for the ISPS Handa, mm -hmm. and obviously Amy is here this week, and it's a special moment for her hitting the opening tee shot and things. Yeah, uh, I've seen her around. Haven't got to say hello to her yet, but I'm um, I'm not sure if she's in the program, but um, yeah, I think it's you know fantastic what they're doing, and also you know men's women's event together um, at the same courses, equal prize money is fantastic. So I think it's good role model for other you know events like this to happen in the future. You'd like to see more events like this in the mixed as well. Yeah, definitely. I mean, even if there was a mixed. Um, event where you get to play with, you know, a guy, like pick your partner kind of thing. I think that'd be cool. Great stuff. Thank you and have a good week. Thank you. Thank you, Paul.
Uh, Georgia, any uh, any Nile songs on the warm up playlist for you? Unfortunately, not. No. <laughs> um, no, I'm more into kind of Kanye West things. Not, not but <laughs> I like his song, the slow one. I, I got that on my phone. Slow hands, that one. Yeah. Slow hands. Slow hands yeah, I uh, I just heard that this morning. And it's stuck in my head all day. Thanks yeah. to our social yeah, media a good producer. One. Don't tell him that. Last one I have. <laughs> last one I have for you. Um, how how much of a? Obviously, you talked about Europe, the, the Europe swing being um, important to you. Uh, you know, for the future and of this event um, and, and the European swing as a whole. How? How, um, how good of an event can this be to be added to a rotation but that includes the Evian, the Open, and the Scottish? Uh, do you see it as, as a, a turn where a lot of people put their attention on it like you do? Yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, the European Spring is quite tight with a lot of events, so it's great that, that this event can take place. Um, obviously, it's only in the second year of happening and gone, you know, strength to strength. So, um, yeah, I mean, European Swing's very important to me, especially, you know, I feel like I'm at home here and uh, it's so nice being in America a lot of the time to only have the one or two hour flight. So, um, yeah, I think it's a great success. Georgia, we thank you for your time and best of luck this week. Thank you. Yeah.